Hey there guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm at a different map. Uh, this map is known as New Woodshire, and I'm not sure what nickname I'm going to give it yet, what state it resembles. We're in the U.S. of course, um, but I actually haven't been on this map in about four years is <laughs> the last time I saved this map, so I have no clue uh, what I did. I do not remember anything, and I haven't previewed this map before recording. I'm just going to go through now and kind of figure out uh, what I did, what you know, what I have in place so far, what kind of mods I have that I haven't uh, checked out yet. But I want to mention this one real quick. I just found this today actually, um, and I think it's called, yeah, the Axion 930. It's a really cool looking piece of machinery here. Um, and I just found this today uh, through Yes Mods and downloaded it. So haven't ever used this piece of equipment before. I'm loving the detail. And, uh, oops, no, oh, got a conflict again. <laughs> Conflicting mod again, hold on. That's annoying. It's always something. <laughs> Usually I have to restart the uh, sim. I'm gonna start it up real quick. So it's got tons of lights. Actually, yeah, like tons of lights. And the uh, interior sounds, the sound is muted a little, so I like that the, uh, you feel a little more isolated from the outside inside the cab. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting machine. I love how the way it, uh, and the way it moves is just kind of really interesting. It's a really interesting design overall. It's just what caught my eye, and uh, this could be this might end up being my primary tractor. Um, I have it with GPS and everything, um, but I really wanted to try out this design, see what, what it was like, and uh, I'll end up hooking up a planter to it. But I wanted to head up here real quick and figure out what I had downloaded before uh, leaving this map and not having returned in however long it's been. So I'm noticing a, uh, a problem already. I have a mod that um, makes certain vehicles not have as much traction as they would, and it looks like that's what's happening with this. Some of the treaded tractors, or tractors with these treads, uh, tend to not do quite what they're supposed to be doing. Um, so that's an interesting conflict. Might have to disable. Okay, anyway, so I just wanted to check out what equipment I have uh, had previously downloaded. Looks like, uh, yeah, just a couple, yeah, Fent and, uh, yeah, one of my favorites, 7810, of course. And uh, whatever combine, that's probably the combine I've used in the past on the other farm, California farm. And this is a new mod as well, I just found this today. Uh, this Mac, highly customizable, uh, I decided to go with the dump bed uh, for now. Haven't driven this yet and haven't used it at all yet, and um, uh, I would like to drive it if I didn't keep getting this conflicting mod message that says you can throw the object, which is definitely can't throw this pickup truck. I don't think I'm a superhero in this sim, so I've got to walk a certain distance away. There we go. Oh, okay. The interior is pretty nice, actually. Yeah, this is nice. And I really wanted to see the uh, bumper lit up like that, so that's really cool. No backup beeper. That's okay. 
So it's got a couple different controls here now. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty cool. Cover opens up. Uh, okay, you can lower the lower the uh, extra wheel. This one's doing. Not sure what that's supposed to be doing. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, you can steer what oh, they call it the tag axle. Okay. So you can steer that. Oh, that's pretty cool. How do I turn that off now? Oh, okay. Probably was on me. Okay. I'm gonna try and dump the bed just to see what that looked like, but uh, I'll have to figure that out later. Tip light and tip heavy, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Huh. Okay. That's kinda cool though. The tin's actually pretty dark. I might have to <laughs> might have to get rid of the tin. Kinda hard to see out of. See if it'll actually hook up to the trailer there. Let's see if it gives me the option. Okay, it does. This to catch this somewhere. There we go. Yeah, so it's cooked up then. Not the truck I'd be towing this with, but I just wanted to, I had to select whether I wanted a trailer attachment or not, so that works. Of course, this is a really, <laughs> uh, maybe there's a way out back here. It's a super tight turn up there. Just try and get out of this lot. But this is where the vehicles spawn. Oh, okay, so there's an exit down here. I didn't know that. Okay, well, that's good. So I currently have a home farm that uh, I am at when I s enter this game, or sim. Um, but I want to probably choose a different location. Kind of cool if it had a backup beeper. Hmm, pretty cool uh, shutdown sound. Okay. Let me just see how this thing performs in the field. I'm going to have to restart the session because uh, I get that conflicting throw object mod thing, which is annoying. It looks like it does drift, which is due to a, a mod that I have. I'll have to figure that out later. I would like to use this as a primary tractor because this thing's pretty sweet, honestly.
Oh, okay, that's pretty cool, the door opening closes. I like that. So it doesn't look like it's drifting now, so I might be able to work with this. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I would like to use this primary. Oops, there we go. I forgot about that already. That is really annoying. <laughs> I don't know what is causing that. Make sure I actually do on this field. I think I do. Yeah. Field number 12 is where we're at right now. No, not one. Yeah, so apparently I purchased all those. And I just now need to go through the whole process of getting the soil information and all that. It's a really pleasant, pleasant looking map. I like the color scheme of this particular map. So I think I'm going to, yeah, restart this session. See how this thing performs. Uh, yeah, because we are getting a little bit of drift. Okay. All right, so just restarted the session. As you can see, we no longer have the issue where it wants me to throw the tractor or pick it up. <laughs> uh, we'll see how long that lasts. Um, also, I've been trying to watch the tractor to see if it's slipping. Uh, sometimes it looks like it is. That's been an ongoing issue. Occasionally, it's not a huge deal, but um, it is annoying when using treaded vehicles in certain maps, certain situations, it starts to slide on its own, so I'll keep an eye on that, but I just wanted to drive around and uh, figure out what this map looks like. Uh, like I said, it's been over, no, it's been like four years since I've uh, <laughs> been on this map, so I have no idea what's, what to expect, uh, and I'll help jog my memory some, but... Uh, yeah, let's go explore. If you've uh, seen any of my videos in the past, you might recognize this truck. This is my uh, my favorite trucks and I have this exact uh, setup on my California farm. Uh, I think the color in red might actually be a little different but this is one of the best trucks. Besides my Duramax flatbed. Okay, so I uh, seem to have a shop set up down here a bit. I'm just going to drive down there. Yeah, the red building, uh, which is also I have at my California farm. Nice hay field right there. That would be nice. Sharp turn here. Okay, so uh, I've uh, installed wind turbines and a uh, solar plant. And this is the red shop building, which I also have at the California farm. Pretty empty at the moment, but all the equipment that I've purchased is sitting at the dealership. Okay, I've got a nice garage up there. Oh, okay, I do have a planter already. Good. Oh, there's my Duramax. Some things I think I want to change. <laughs> I would like to find a different shop design just because this one's a bit too much with the super high ceiling and it's a nice shop building, but it's not my absolute favorite. Um, so yeah, this is good. Uh, yeah, I would like to I'll bring that uh, axion down here and hook it up to the planter. Get some, uh, get some seed in the ground. Oh, okay, the dog's here. Still alive after four years. <laughs> of not being fed. Okay, let me just take a glance. Okay, so... I have been spawning at 
okay there's the home location right there okay that's quite a big quite a good size map okay Oh, I think I remember putting that lamp there actually. Okay, yeah, that's a really nice looking hay field. Not super big, but that'll be uh, nice since it's right across the street. <laughs> this road feels narrow. Oh, a bit further to go to the home. Oh, that looks familiar. It's this intersection, I believe, to get to the home location. Yeah, this is where I've been spawning. I think that's it. I've been spawning somewhere. Oh, there's my red truck again. Not the best looking location. Looks a bit run down. Yeah, this is my, I forget what this thing's called. Oh, lizard. Something on, oh, okay, yeah, three point hitch on the front, for some reason. <laughs> so, yeah, it's an interesting, home base, but I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I want to keep that. It's actually a nice truck. I like this. Color scheme's a little weird, but I did that, of course. Go back into the shop and see. Curious what kind of a. Uh, flatbed or something we can get on the back of this so it doesn't look so off balance this is where you modify stuff isn't it oh yeah there we go I don't know what do you think about the color scheme <laughs> it's making me think German I don't know why Oh, okay, that's for that. I'll keep that. Oh. Huh. Maybe there's... Oh, there must be something... There must be something in this... Uh, miscellaneous, maybe? Attachments for the back of this? Hmm. I honestly don't remember. That might... Oh! <laughs> that might... The tank might be for this. Sure. Oh, is that for diesel fuel? 
Oh yeah, I don't, I don't need a fuel truck. <laughs> hmm. Just trying to think what I would put on the back of this. What do I have that's available? Oh. It doesn't have a... I didn't put a hitch on it. I need to do that then. Um, I guess it takes away the front end. Yeah. I don't know, what would I use the three-point hitch for? <laughs> That's interesting that it has that. I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. Okay. So, um, I'm going to take the Axion down and at least hook up the planter. At first, I wonder. I might try setting up another house, see if it'll let me do that. Oops. What do I have for farmhouses? I've got the Alpine house. I'll try that. Wow, I like the nice, nice uh, evergreen patch of evergreen trees. Okay, so I think this will be my actual home base. Oh, look, it's telling me only one item allowed per farm. So how to get rid of the other house? That I don't remember putting there. Oh, I did put it there. <laughs> Farm stable. That's pretty ugly. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Okay, now I can do that. Now I can do my awesome alpine house. Of course, now it's not going to be. We're going to level it out, maybe. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? Put it there. And do some painting real quick. Let's see, how do I. No, oh, X. And. Oh, zoom says. Oh, it's kind of cool looking house. Okay, paint. Oh, okay. Brush. Change the brush. There we go. Have that just uh, blend in there. And how do I get this rotate? That'll be kind of like the field road, I guess. There. Uh, 
Perfect. Okay, that works. I'll add some detail to that later on. But yeah, that uh, <laughs> equipment shed looks absolutely enormous. Okay, got a new house set up. I'll get this tractor. This is a nice looking map. I haven't even seen that much of it yet. Uh, I think... I don't know, do I want to reduce the tint? Because it doesn't look that tinted from the outside, but... Looks like a difference on the inside. I can I'll keep it for a bit. Definitely a wild looking machine. Wobbles quite a bit. He's always in the way, look. <laughs> he wants more food, is my guess. Give him some pets. He wants pets. It's like I haven't eaten in four years. Please feed me. I need to double check that that's the correct planter. I don't know what I was thinking about that red bed on my Duramax, but I need to change that. <laughs> manual attach, of course. There we go. And are there any, uh, let's see. No hoses or anything for this mod. Oh, that's right. I want to make sure that's the correct planter. Yes, it is the modded one. Okay, good. Perfect. And pretty sure I end this field over here already. Which is potatoes. Well, dead potatoes, of course. Before planting, uh, I do want to get soil samples. Just so I'm not driving into, driving over uh, planted field, so. Let me shut this down. Oh, it's already got seed in it too. And let me take my ugly looking Duramax to go get repainted. Oh, I had unloaded something apparently. There we go. Oh, can I change stuff here? What does this do? Oh! You can change right there. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm.
I mean, my other truck is black. It's fine. We don't need color. I like white. <laughs> that works. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> it didn't do it. Oh, I didn't hit save, did I? How do I get it to save? Oh, okay. Here we go. Um, I'm going to I need to buy a soil probe and attach that to one of the tractors. I forget what that's under. Wow, what is that under? Oh, it is. Yes, there we go. Go pick that up. I'll probably attach it to the fence that I have sitting out there. Oh, that's right, I've got a little equipment shit right there. That's nice. Keep the uh, hay equipment in there when I end up purchasing that. <laughs> the steering sensitivity is a little like, I don't know, I'm trying not to jerk the wheel too much. <laughs> Especially at speed. This guy is kind of shifty, he's always walking around right there. Don't know what his deal is. Oh, I could do the 7810 too. Let's see, there's a shiny new soil probe. Of course, my truck is now in the way. Uh, oh, I think this is I think this is the fence that I have at the uh, Wisconsin farm. See, I do like driving the 7810 though. I could do this. go. Oh, okay. <laughs> it plugs right in. Oh, perfect. That's awesome, actually. I thought I needed, like, a... I thought I needed, like, a new attractor, but... This thing's kind of loud, too, isn't it? Alright, right on.
Oh, I might drive through the hayfield real quick, actually. Just to get some samples. Okay, get around the corner. A nice creek down there. All right, so a sample's collected for that small little uh, field there. Just wanted to walk down. This is nice. Uh, it's a nice looking map. I'm liking this. So, four years later, here I am. <laughs> so I think I'll cut it off here and uh, see you in the next video.